Um, my name is Stephanie Talbot and I am a registered holistic nutritionist. Jesse has come to me um, obviously needing some nutritional guidance for all of his training that he's doing. Hello! Hi! <laughs> cool. Um, so, welcome to the video. Stephanie Talbot, uh, amazing nutritionist. Tell us what we're going to do today. So today, um, I am going to go over a little bit about the information I'm giving Jesse to um, help him get started on his way to performing his best, obviously, for his cycling journey. Basically, what a nutritionist does, a lot of people come to me and they're not really quite sure what a nutritionist does exactly. So what we do is we not only focus on the nutrition aspect and what your body needs based on whatever your goals are but we also focus on the supplements that you might need as well as your lifestyle so you can be focusing 100 percent on nutrition and if you're not supplementing properly properly or you're super stressed you're not going to get the results that you want um, strictly focusing on nutrition so we kind of look at everything in a holistic manner um, to basically help you perform and function your best what I have done is I have taken a lot of Jesse's information. So he's filled out my intake form, which gives me a really good detailed look into his life. You know, the nitty gritty of everything. That's very important to know. Based on his answers and based on some of the symptoms that he's experiencing, I'm able to really learn a lot about him and his body and where I need to focus most of my work. Alongside of the nutrition, Jesse is also experiencing some digestive issues and lower energy. So we're going to focus on improving those areas of his um, body as well so he's able to function at his best. Take it away. Okay, so uh, one of the things I got Jesse to do was fill out a three-day diet diary. So this is going to help me get a good look into how he's currently eating, if any foods are bothering his stomach, um, and sort of where we can um, improve things as far as his nutrition goes. So one thing I did notice is that he is drastically under eating for the amount of exercise that he's doing. <laughs> but this is why you also need a professional. So if you don't if you aren't currently working with a professional, I highly suggest that you do so that they're able to look into the kind of things that you might be missing. Um, obviously, everybody's goal is to be able to um, function at their best. And so in order to do that, sometimes it's hard to get lost with all the information, the misinformation online and just grab yourself a professional to help you. So um, what I've done is I've noticed that he was not really eating a lot throughout the day and then eating a lot at night because he ended up being starving after a day of being super busy. Everybody's busy, um, but it's important when you have these types of goals to make the time so that you're eating properly throughout the day um, and giving yourself a two hour window before bedtime. So not eating in that two hours before you go to sleep um, because that is, sleep is so important and that is when your body does all of its recovery, gets your liver's doing its work between one and 3 a.m. And so if you're eating too close to bedtime, your liver's gonna be working on digesting the food that you ate rather than um, removing all the toxins and helping to clear out your body and repair properly. Okay, so I have Jesse eating about five to six times per day right now. So as I mentioned before, we're gonna be focusing on uh, making sure that he has, he's fueling his body properly throughout the day, not eating as much at nighttime, like not piling all the food on at night. Um, and most importantly, making sure that he's fueling his body between 20 to 40 minutes after he does intense exercise. So this is what's gonna fuel your muscles and give you a lot of energy um, and more bang for your buck after your workout. So one of the things that we're gonna be sharing with you guys is a thousand calorie smoothie. Woo! <laughs> this is a great way to get in um, enough calories in the day. If that's something that you're worried about, you're busy, you're always on the go, you're worried about getting enough in, a thousand calorie smoothie is what's gonna do it for you. So some of the recipes I am focusing on um, his gut health as well, because as he did mention before, he is struggling a little bit in that department and the energy um, more importantly instead of focusing on just getting enough calories and not really paying attention to where those calories are coming from we are focusing on very nutrient dense foods so this is obviously very important when you're training because the nutrients are what um, gives you energy it's what fuels you um, through your day it is what um, makes you better <laughs> than what you were before and aids recovery properly and all that kind of stuff. So these, all these recipes are focused on gut health and nutrient dense foods. 
Cool, and we'll post the uh, recipes. Do you want to post the recipes? Sure. Okay, we'll post the recipes and things like in the description box below. Okay, so we have the nutrition down. Now let's talk about supplements for a second. So Jesse is taking some supplements right now. Um, that is something that's super important that I get all of my clients to do is, unfortunately with the way that our food is grown these days, um, we're not rotating our crops properly. We're getting our foods from other provinces and other countries, not local, which means that our food actually has less nutrients in it now than it did 50 years ago. So even if you are eating all the right foods, you're getting enough nutrients and vegetables into your diet, you still should be supplementing. Um, I highly recommend um, a multivitamin and omega-3. Those are my two main things. If you are somebody who is doing strenuous exercise, magnesium before bed is going to be very beneficial as well to help with any muscle cramps, help to replenish your body properly, and help alleviate stress. So when we are stressed, magnesium is one of the first nutrients to be depleted from your body and it's needed for so many functions in our body. So um, supplementing is 100% necessary. Make sure that you are getting a whole food supplement, nothing synthetic. Our body cannot absorb synthetic, so don't waste your money on stuff like that. Make sure that you are getting a whole food supplement. And then when it comes to lifestyle, this is another thing that we need to look at as well, his stress levels. Um, what he's doing for post recovery other than nutrition um, What type of yes self-care things he is still doing amongst the million things he has going on in the day Those are also very important to look at Okay, that's it